welcome back. I have January's Ipsy for you today and I apologize in advance for all of the crud that is going on with my nose. Um, if you watched my BoxyCharm video, which I filmed right before I filmed this one, you know that I have a man cold and I'm hanging out with you guys tonight because I really just like want to kind of scratch like scratch my face out like gouge my eyes out with spoons I just I just don't really feel good and so I thought I would just come hang out with you guys tonight and film um, Boxy Charming Ipsy and then I'm sending myself straight to bed with some black mango tea I believe because it's wonderful um, so, or Ipsy, I did Boxy Charm already. Ipsy, we're doing Ipsy. Um, so the theme this month is Metropolis. And the bag this month is so cute. I love this. It's like a um, kind of a shimmery light blue with a silver underneath. I will definitely be keeping this bag. Most of the time when I get my Ipsy bags, I actually don't keep them. I give them away to Taylor, who's Ryan's six-year-old daughter. Um, but every now and then I come across one that I do want to keep and use, and this will be one that I will be keeping. All right, so the very first product in here is by Ciate London, and it is a geology top coat. And it says not for resale on here, so I'm not sure if you can purchase this separately. I do hope that you can, though. Um, and again, it says not for resale on here. So I don't know if you have to buy this in a set or um, anything like that. In fact, let's, let's just see if we can find out right, real fast. What is this called? Geology top coat. Well, that's gonna take me too long. Um, I will look it up and I will leave a comment down below. Um, but this is what the bottle looks like. It's super cute, just like all of the Ciate nail polishes. Um, I've only had, I've had two Ciate nail polishes. Or maybe I've just had one. And I do believe that the one that I had, I decluttered because I didn't like the color, but I loved the formula. So what this is supposed to do is it says, upgrade your nail pol polish to a plump gel effect mani with geology top coat for extreme hold, long wear results with serious shine. So I do have it on my nails right now. And this is also, um, I haven't cleaned them up, obviously, since I painted them <laughs> earlier, um, but this is Rich and Brazilian from OPI's Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. And I do think that this gives a very nice top coat. Um, it, it dried actually very quickly for something that said that it wasn't a, a quick dry. It was just a regular top coat. I would say that I was fully dry and you know ready to kind of go do things carefully um, in about 10 minutes. So I think that that's pretty good. Um, wear time, I haven't had any kind of chippage and I've actually, usually like right here, I got a little bit on my nail today because I was painting my nails at the office and that's just what happens sometimes. And I did um, get some of that top coat on it as well and I'm having trouble kind of getting it off of my finger and I usually don't. I haven't had any chippage today and usually if I paint my nails in the morning by the end of the day I do actually already have some chippage and things like that so I'm going to see how long this lasts. Usually a manicure starts chipping on me no matter what I do by the second or third day because I type so much and I do so much with my hands and washing dishes and things like that. I don't really have a manicure that doesn't start chipping um, within two to three days. So I will leave a comment down below and let you guys know what the wear time was on that. But I am pretty impressed so far. I will say it does stink to high heaven even if you can't smell. So keep in mind that I don't smell very good anyway. My nose is just you know, it just doesn't work as well as other people's. And then when you combine that with a cold and I could still smell the chemicaliness of it. Okay, the next product that is in here is this hand moisturizer by 417. And this is kind of one of those thick bottles that gets misshapen and makes me feel like it's more high end than it probably is. Um, I don't know. I just, for some reason, when, you know, things are thick enough to 
anyway, you guys get what I'm saying. When your hand lotion kind of squishes in the middle, it makes me think that it's it's more expensive. Um, it doesn't have any smell that I can tell. Um, it is paraben free and mineral oil free. Um, and it was nice. I mean, it did a great job of moisturizing my hands every time that I put it on. It wasn't anything that I wanted to write home about and be like, hey, you have to try this lotion. But it was very nice and I will end up using up the entire product. And the next thing was a blush by uh, Manikdar Beauty. So I'm not familiar with them. This is Paradise Blush. And this is a, a really nice, pretty color. It does have some shimmer to it. So it is what I have on my cheeks right now. And I do have sort of a very light wash on. Um, I put this on this morning and I think that it lasted, you know, pretty good. Um, it lasted probably about half the day before it started to really fade. And I did kind of touch it up just a little bit before I filmed. But it's nice. I mean, and again, it's nothing to write home about. I don't think that the color is particularly unique. Um, I don't think that the formula is particularly unique, but it is very nice and I will use the product. So I think that's kind of the theme for this Ipsy bag is it's nice, but nothing that I really just kind of want to jump out of my seat about. Then I got an It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination sample. Um, I have not opened this because I do actually have the full size of this and I thought I had pulled that out. There it is to give you the demo with this one. Um, but I do believe this, yeah, the little sample is in medium and then I have the full size in medium as well. This is a very, very thick concealer. I mean, you gotta squeeze to get that out of the tube. And it does have this pinky undertone to it. So there you go. It also does have, and let me kind of blend this in really well, and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell on the back of my hand as well as you can on my under eyes. I do have it on my under eyes right now, and I wanted to show you an end of the day on this because I think that that is what is important with this product. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of glow right there. So um, I don't think that this covers as well as the original Bye Bye Under Eye. I would say that it has probably 70% of the coverage of the original Bye Bye Under Eye. It is also a little bit thicker than the original, which is very creamy and very emollient. This is very creamy and it's very emollient. It does, um, you know, leave kind of a glow underneath your eyes. If you've tried the a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. It's that kind of glow that it leaves underneath your eyes. I do feel like I need to set it with a banana powder to kind of tone down that illumination. I'm almost 40 years old. I really don't want disco under my eyes. I mean, it kind of makes me feel like, you know, if I get any outside uh, at all of this little dark circle area, which is going to happen when I blend, it kind of looks like I have highlight on. So I do feel like I need to tone that down. Um, but by the end of the day, I really feel like it's faded. It's not breaking down. It's not um, looking bad. It's not looking creepy or, or creasy or anything like that. It's just faded. It's not really covering up my dark circles anymore. And now granted, I have a man cold, so I have super dark circles right now, but it didn't cover them up all the way this morning. Whereas if I'd used my original Bye Bye Under Eye, it probably would have. So. I would say if you're kind of tossed up between, you know, I love the original Bye Bye Under Eye, should I go for the illumination? I'd say stick with the original because I think that it is a better product. Okay, the last product that is in here was a little sample of uh, Bahama Mama from The Balm. And I was excited to get this because I've looked at it many, many times. But I will say, <laughs> 
that this is kind of a really small little sample. Now the bronzer brush that I use is a lot smaller than most people, um, but you can see that that is very large. I really didn't have an issue getting in there to get product and put this on my face this morning, but as soon as that starts to get some dip in there, it will be really hard. If you use like a, you know, like a big old bronzer brush, then yeah, that's gonna kind of take up the whole thing. Um, so it might be a little bit difficult. But I actually, I really did like this bronzer quite a bit. Um, it has kind of a, a very neutral um, tone to it. It's not orangey. This would be great for contouring, not just bronzing up the face. Um, I. I do have it on right now and I love it. I, I think that this is fantastic. Um, I don't know that it beats out like Chocolate Soleil or the Hula bronzer or some of the other sort of more neutral bronzers, um, but it does, it has a very nice texture. The only thing that I don't think that it has um, as far as like um, my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil or my Benefit Hula Bronzer is the wear time. And um, this did start to wear off on me partway through the day. I do have that problem with balm products though. They just don't seem to last on me. So if you're one of those people who um, the balm lasts on your skin all day long, then this might actually last on your skin all day long. So again, I really like it, but it's nothing that I want to write home about because although the color is fantastic, I don't think that the wear time is that great. So overall, I'm quite pleased with Ipsy this month because I got to try some, um, you know, a couple of things. Um, well, I guess quite pleased is a little bit strong. I'll say I'm okay. I'm okay with the bag this month. I'm glad that I got to try these things, um, but again, there wasn't really anything that I wanted to just you know, write home about. The thing that I'm most excited about though is that Ciate top coat, because if this can make my polish last for longer than two or three days, I'll be super excited. And again, I will leave you guys an update um, down below and let you know what that wear time was. So anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out for, with me tonight while I don't feel good. And now I'm going to turn off the camera, put away all of these lights and take myself to bed. So anyway, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy these subscription videos and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other great stuff that I have coming up and I will see you next time. Bye.